You may have seen this interview with someone called Kay Griggs. She apparently is the wife of a former Marine officer named George Griggs. The interview is in four parts. You can find it if you search Kay Griggs' interview. Um, there's an IMDb for it. The summary there reads, Pastor Rick Strawcutter interviews Catherine Pollard Griggs, the wife of Marine Corps Colonel George Griggs, about the history of the U.S. military and the power elite. It's literally just a deposition. Um, have you ever seen a video of a witness deposition? It's like that. So it doesn't appear to be a video release that's trying to persuade one position or the other. You know, if she's telling the truth or how much of what she's saying is the truth, if it's any at all. Obviously, I'm not going to spend any time trying to look up people or places that she's talking about or the missions that, you know, he told her about and whatnot. Given the inherent nature of his job, verifying any of her claims is impossible. So I'm not going to go there at all with this video. Instead, I want to point out a disturbing detail of the interview. So first, if you haven't seen it, she alleges her husband has done a lot of evil, destructive things throughout his career. She goes into detail about some of the clandestine operations he's been a part of and that he told her about in confidence as his wife. And like I said, I'm not trying to verify anything that she's saying. I just wanted to point out that she herself is under hypnosis. And given the topic of what she's saying being mind control and describing how her husband allegedly, you know, used to uh, train these assassins and um, manipulate their minds and things like that and split the personalities. And she goes into great detail about it. Well, she herself is under hypnosis uh, in this video. Um, when the guy starts starts out, you know, after a break and he has his hand in front of the camera, he goes five, four, three, two, one. That isn't for his cameraman, it's him counting her back into the interview because she's under hypnosis. So releasing a video like this and where she's just making all these wild claims and it's compelling because of the detail that she goes into. Um, it's almost like, gosh, how could she be making all this up? So it's compelling in that sense, but I just wanted to point out, not that she's right or wrong or anything about that, um, it's just that it's sinister given the nature of what she's talking about, about mind control and hypnosis and manipulation and things that she herself could very well be a victim of the, the same things that she's talking about, um, because I, I strongly believe that she's under hypnosis during this entire interview. So you can go check it out for yourself. Um, here's some clips right here I put at the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Six, five, four, three, two. One. Okay. Um, let's talk a little bit about um, your husband would get into these drunken stupors yeah. and he would start running his mouth and yeah. tell you everything he knew. Yeah. Um, what did you find was uh, some of the most stunning revelations that, uh, that came? So the way he starts with that leading question and he sets the scenario for her. You know, your husband came home drunk and tells you everything and tells the revelations and then he trails off with this relaxed, calm tone. Not really what what an interviewer question would sound like, in my opinion, or how they would sound like. Um, but this video is released and there's no mention of that. And I've never seen anyone online or anywhere claiming that she was under hypnosis during this video. So it's not understood. So it's especially dark given the nature of what she's talking about and um, as she's under hypnosis herself. Thanks for watching. Um, I, besides the, the fact that he admitted he couldn't be a Christian and was an existentialist and explaining what existentialism meant to him, which was startling to me, um, the, the other uh, parts of some of the things he told me which which really startled me and frightened me was his attitude towards murder which he said was not murder because he said uh, emotions are not involved mm -hmm. um, his his cold you calculating you about the one the, very good all right great uh, we're rolling we're recording 
we are doing it right now. And uh, good deal. Hey, Albert. Albert. Get this camera here. Uh, tighten the shot just ever so slightly, would you? Mm -hmm. Just, I mean, you don't have to get all the way. You could, re you could reach for that side easier. See what I'm saying right here? Just just tighten it just a wee little bit. Perfect. You got it. Huh? Good. I said that's perfect. What's that? The keys? Did I take the keys? You need the keys. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, then, then hurry back because I can't be without my car. No. A little bit lower. Below the pocket. But that's okay. Good shot. I think so. All right. Now, um, we're having a fascinating conversation talking to the wife of uh, the former um, chief of staff, Marine Atlantic, head of the um, intelligence group that went uh, to Beirut.